Hi everyone, in today's video, I'm going to talk about headers and footers. Headers are the lines or graphics that appear in the page's upper margin and they repeat at every page. Footers are the parts that appear in the lower margin and they also repeat at every page. To edit the header or to insert the header, I have the first method which is double clicking in the header zone. So I can double click here and type directly. So I can type and then I'll click outside it. I'll double click outside it to edit my text. I can do the same for the footer. I double click in it and type whatever I want. This will repeat at every page. Now, I can do this in another way. I can uh, erase the header, for example. Let's erase them and let's erase the footer. And now I'll go to insert and here I can go to insert header and I'll select a predefined header or a predefined layout for my document. So I'll choose this one, blank three columns, and I'll type here, JTAG, I'll type, and I'll type here, chapter one. I'll go to the footer, so insert footer, and I'll insert the page number, so I'll choose this one, the grid. And I have page 0 of 24. Of course, I can uh, format the page numbers and decide to start at 1. So again, I'll select the page number. This is 0. I'll right click on it, format page numbers, and select start at 1. I've inserted headers and footers quickly this way. I can also insert quick parts. So in the header and footer tools design, I can go to quick parts and insert any of these properties. So this is the publish date and uh, I can edit these tabs like we edited them before. So if I click here on the home paragraph and click on this button and I go to tabs, I notice that I have top tabs, top positions as usual. I can also I go to quick parts again so i've double clicked in the footer and here in the design tab i can insert the date directly moreover i can uh, go to insert and select page number and i don't have to insert the page number in the header or the footer i can insert it in the margins so i'll choose this one the left uh, page number and now I have a page number here as well. So this is page two, page three. So far, things are easy, but what if I have multiple sections and I want the header and footer to change at every section? So I'll uh, go to chapter two and before chapter two, I'll go to the layout tab and select breaks and select next page. So this is starting at the next page and this is a section break the two dotted line indicates a section break i'll start this one also so breaks section breaks next page so i have three sections in the document for now and you notice that the page number is restarting so this is page one this is page one even though this is not page one we are gonna see how to solve that so how are we supposed to solve this I'll double click in the header and you can notice that there's this link to previous which makes the header the same as the previous section. So the header is continuing from the section that was before it. The same is applying to the footer, yet if I, I select the page number and right click on it, I'll go to format page numbers and I'll select this time continue from previous section. This way, it's continuing from previous section. In this section, I had page one, and here I have page two. And this one needs the same to be done for it. So I'll continue from the previous section, and the numbering is fine now. What if I want my header to vary from one section to another? So I'm having this header here, and uh, it's continuing from one section 
to the other so I want to change it I have here chapter 1 I want to change it to chapter 2 and if I change it to chapter 2 it will change as well in the first section which is, which should have chapter 1 so I'll undo this and I'll double click on the header in section 2 it's indicating the section here and if you notice it's saying same as previous so I go to the header and footer tools design tab and I have to uncheck the link to previous now this header is independent of the previous one and if I type here two this one remains as chapter one while this one is chapter two and this one which is in, in section 3, is also saying chapter 2 because it's linked to the previous one. So I'll double click on it. It has the same as previous and I'll untick the link to previous and change it. I can also have the first page in a section boasting a different header. So I'll double click in the header zone and I can select different first page. Now the first page has an empty header whereas the others have the header that I already formatted. So I can set a different header for my first page. I can also have in every section different odd and even pages. So when I tick this one, I can notice here it's saying first page footer because the first page is different, first page header, and afterward it's saying even page header and odd page header so i have an even page footer and an odd page footer we usually use this because we set page numbers to appear in a book at the left of an even page and to the right of an odd page so here i have an even page footer and i can go insert the page number at the bottom of it here and this one is keeping the old page number layout because this is an odd page so this is an even page and we have the page number at its left and this is an odd page and we have the page number to its right. Let's insert a small picture in the header of even pages. So I'll double click here. I'll go to pictures and I'll select a picture and this picture moved the header way down. So I'm gonna reduce its size. And now I have a picture that repeats in every even page. And if I go to file, print, in the preview, I can see that I have an even page with its own header and footer layout and an odd page with its own header and footer layout. So that was it. Thanks for watching.